If you love the tools of film and television production, there's likely no better place to be than the annual Cinegear Expo in Los Angeles. This year held on the Warner Brothers Studio backlot. It's here that Hollywood professionals can see and test the latest in production equipment, like cameras, and all the ways you can mount them on cranes, on vehicles, on people, even on robo-dogs. Hi. Michael Mansouri of Radiant Images makes mobile camera rigs that can shoot wraparound 360-degree images that can be played back on set later. We use it for background environments that can be projected inside of an LED screen or in your virtual production. Why is that important? Is because of the biggest cost savings or efficiencies come out of us being also to be able to virtualize a lot of those steps. But you don't have to bring the actor and the actors inside of a car, sit them in a, in a car and drive for hours. They can just show up to set on an LED volume. The background's already been projected and they do the performance inside of a volume. And if you wanted, you could always turn on wool so you can have more of that flying duck feel. Yeah, that's pretty popular with Cinegear. All of the big camera and lens manufacturers are at Cinegear, with reps ready to explain technical specs and details. And some companies like Sony even stage little production scenes to show off what their products can do. But there are also smaller players at Cinegear, trying to find customers and a slice of the production market. Sarah Reedy is with Blazer, which makes anamorphic lenses. So this means what to you being here? Oh, everything. Everything. This is, this is our debut here for the LA cinematography world. Why is it important for someone who knows nothing about this? I think, you know, especially uh, entry level cinematographers who've never been able to get their hands on something like anamorphic lenses, you know, traditionally they're just so expensive. So to have people come in and look at our lenses and be like, oh, I can actually like buy these. It's, it's really important for us. So this is kind of critical to getting your name out there, your product line yeah, out there. Absolutely. One theme of this expo is the ever-growing role of technology in production, no surprise there, and how it can be used to make the making of film and television cheaper. Lightcraft technology creates virtual environments with an eye on helping budget-conscious filmmakers. So that's, that's the pieces you need to actually make a real production. People think of it, that you're going to need all of this. We have it running here. Aha! You don't need all of this, you're saying. Just this. Yeah. Often. Not all the time. Yeah, I mean, if, if you're, if you're going to shoot, you know, Game of Thrones 3, yeah, go get the rest of the stuff. But for many people who want to be able to make something, who have a pull-down green screen, and they have a camera and an iPhone, and a computer, you're set. You can effectively be running a production studio in your basement. Along with ultra-expensive equipment, there are also plenty of lower-cost gadgets and doodads on display at Cinec Gear. This guy's products were some of my favorites. My name is Ivan from Boston Tech, and this is our smoke blaster, which is essentially just the case for four of our microfiber mini smoke machines. So these are these little guys here. So no heat up time, incredibly powerful. Uh, it will fill up a room in a 400 square foot room in about one to two minutes. And I would use a smoke machine how in production? Well, of course, if you want to get some haze in a shot, really accentuate those lighting effects, see those well rays of light. That's exactly how you use it. Uh, kind of, of cool city at night, neon shots, though that kind of yep, look. Or a hazy, dusty room. Or if you're looking for some sort of special effect, like a burning car or uh, a steaming kettle, that'll work as well. I punch that into the Dyno 1200, and it matches the sodium vapor absolutely perfectly. But even as businesses large and small show off their wares at the expo, there's plenty of anxiety in Hollywood over everything from soft box office numbers to cuts in streaming productions. That, of course, affects the people who make and sell production gear. Barbara Haller's company sells camera tripods, and she says she's trying to remain optimistic. A lot of, like, I talked to a lot of my competitors and my friends in the industry that we are starting to see kind of an uptick. Okay. The thing is that we've got to hope that it lasts, because what I think what we have to find out is, is this the new norm or are we just in a rough time where every industry has that and goes through it? The new norm being, oh, well, things may never be as busy right. as they were. Right. But everyone selling, buying, or just looking at Cinegear hopes Hollywood's best days are ahead of it and all the equipment on display here can be put to creative use. I'm Saul Gonzalez.